best. I say this is a good time to start the intro. Fishing here at Kells. I like to get the rods out first. This one's going out for a doggy. I have that one out for any, anything really. Um, I'm trying to catch a couple of species for the angling hub species hunt. If you guys follow my Facebook, um, uh, that that's what I'm basically out. But I'm out fishing as well. It's going to be uh, my Facebook's in the bio. Link in the bio as well. Great. Um, just came down the mountain as well. Nice long walk. Um, lovely calm conditions. Fishing for anything and everything. Yeah. This tightened down, the stake with me, but you know, I had to tighten it and the fish probably went into the snag. I'm going to give it some slack and pop it out. So like my dad was doing something and I thought I was in a snag, but into a conga. Oh, thank God. We have a fish now. That's my fourth or fifth conga now that I've ever caught. Small one though, little strap, very fat though. When I say little strap, I mean small, small for a boat, but say from the shore, this is pretty big. Shaking right now. What a fish! On very, very light line and a small hook. Oh, and I don't know if that's just a swell or if that's a, another bite on the rod. But I'll catch you guys in a second. Yes! So lads, after a month or two, well, a couple, uh, two or three months without a kangar, finally one for the species hunt for the angling hub, that's going to be in the uh, bio in the description, and for the Sharn boat, another one that I'm doing. Lovely fish, he's bleeding just a bit, but that's normal with the kangar. Thank God me or my dad didn't get bitten by the nippers, by their teeth. We're going to release him now. There's no point taking them. They have nice meat, but the sk is, to skin them it's very hard. Right. Happy swims. Lovely fish. I'm so excited with that. Chill. This time it took me to, to catch a dogfish here. It is a dogfish. Yeah, it's a dog. No, it's a flounder. Oh! No, it's a dab. Right, Kills Pier, you can catch everything. Kangaroo, pollock, mackerel, brass, dogfish, rockling, everything. Whiting, eel. I've got everything here. Um, what else? Um, sand eel. I've got sand eel here on feathers as well. That is. That is a dab. Well, let me flip it around here. That is. That is a dab, yeah. Because if it's. You want to tell me what this is, but. Say it's a dab. Because it doesn't have a bony ridge and it doesn't look like a flounder to me. Because it looks a bit too pale for it to be a flounder. But a lovely fish. So lads, it's weird that I cut a dab here. Uh, one time, I've actually wanted to catch a flounder or some flatfish out of here. Uh, because one time I pulled in a dogfish and he coughed up a really small turbot or brill or some, or some sort. And I've always been wondering if there is actually flounder and flatfish around here. There's a bit of a beach over there. I've tried casting there but no luck. Because once the water goes down there's sand. But I cast it there, I don't even know what's out there. Mixed ground, probably. There we go, we have this. Lovely fish. Yep. So 
bullets. I'm gonna bite and take my time with this. Oh, I think it's a dog fish, but with the oh, with how crazy the bite was, could be a mackerel because there's a load of seagulls around. Could be chasing little sprats and the mackerel could be chasing the sprats as well. So I don't know. Hoping it's a dark fish. Hoping my plan will work. Can't horse, horse it in if it's a dark fish. It's definitely fighting. I have to come with it. Yep, it's definitely, it's definitely poison. Oh, that's a coli. That's a lovely coli. All right, dad, 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 dad. Move, move, move. All right. What a coli. Oh, that's my biggest coli ever, Jesus. That's, that's what a coli is, guys. Now I'm going to explain to you the difference between a coli and a pollock. This guy comes down. So this is a coli because it has a straight lateral line. And it's just darker, it's kind of bluish grayish colour. Um, on the smaller coli, you, um, the only way you can tell it is that the jaw here is the same. And on a pollock, I think the bottom one's a bit longer. And the lateral line is straight. That's a lovely coli now. Um, one for the species hunt. Uh, I've cut a small one before. A very small one, probably this big <laughs> comparing to this this one but no that's a cracker of a coli yeah another species added to this area never cut a coli up here I've only cut pollock yeah thrilled with that Where the, where are the fish and this rod practically stands on the rod stand. Hoping this is a dog fish, but I'm probably gonna catch someone alien or something now. Because I want them to catch a dog fish. Well, when you want them, they aren't there, but when you don't want them, they're everywhere. I love this rod as well. It's very sensitive for the fun fishing. If you're reeling at a dog fish, they fight off it. Yeah, dark fish. Oh, it's a bit heavy <laughs> on this rock. Finally, I'm actually pumped, pumped about catching a dark fish for the first time. Thank God. Dark fish, all on hook, and catch you guys in a second. So lads, dogfish, cat shark, tons of different names. Lovely fish, a load of muscle. We're gonna release them now. I just picked up the rod to, you know, just to check it, to see if they're, you know, rebates and all. But picked it up. I reset the hook when I just check it, even though if I, if I know if there's a fish, I'll set it. If I don't know, I'll set it as well. I know, we'll see now. I think it's a fish. My rod's bent. Lovely day for fishing. Couple of fish. I have a crab. Mm. 
female spider crab. The reason I know it's a female because it has, I just saw a bunch of eggs in her apron, I guess. Here, don't want him to tangle my rig too much. You can see her apron, and that's full of eggs. So we're gonna try to release her as fast as we can. Another thing for the species list, but not the species hunt. I don't think they take crabs. See, I don't want to mess with with her because she'll definitely bite my finger off. Back, no. I'm going to try to get it out. Yeah. One out. Don't have it. I don't think I have a fish. But we'll see. See what's left of the rig. Now, one of the snoods is this is where it's supposed to be here and this swivel and it's gone but I guess I'll just cast this piece out then for last cast and we'll see yeah so lads the rad actually nearly flew out the rad stand now um, I was falling I was putting that rad away I only see just a rad bend over it's another dark fish now uh, it's probably come out now on the feed. I think it was a bit too early to be fishing for them one or two hours, a couple of hours ago. Been here now for a couple of hours. But I'll take anything right now. Just a fish. That's, that, this rod has been in maybe five minutes. Yeah, it's a dark fish. Watch out, swimming in the water. There's a bit of plastic in the water. Maybe it fell out the boat or something, but not good. It's another dark fish. I have to two hook clip down rig. Lads, another dog fish. Some of you guys are wondering the proper way to hold them is I try to show this every video to kind of raise awareness. I've already been with my first dog fish. If I, if I remember, I'll put actually I'll put the link to the video up on this side of the screen. I think um, when when I caught my first dog fish, um, uh, that time I actually did get a bit scratched. So this is the proper way to hold them. You put the tail to the head, doesn't hurt them, and makes you more safe. I'll release them now. Off he swims straight down like a rocket ship. So guys, that was our trip here at Kells Old Pier. Lovely, lovely place. Um, it's always worth coming down here. Um, well, if you're going here, you, you don't think you'll, it is worth it because you have to go down a hill. When you're going down, it's maybe 10 or 20 minutes. Going, going back up is half an hour, I'd say. It takes, takes a bit. The final stretch is, is, the, wor is the worst because you're going up this much. Um, Great day. My dad caught a couple of fish on uh, off camera. He caught a kangaroo as well, about the same size as uh, the one I caught, and um, a dogfish. Uh, lovely, lovely day. He didn't want to be on camera though, so I didn't record him. Uh, lovely day. Couple of fish. I think in total I caught five or six fish. Um, 
plus a crab uh, that we threw back. Uh, was pregnant anyway. Lovely day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Finally, a uh, fishing video. Uh, it's, it's, it's been hard fishing lately. Um, today has just been a lovely day. No wind, no rain. Um, thank God. And a fish. I've been trying every weekend, but I, got, I couldn't catch a fish. Uh, the weather was horrible. Lovely day. Caught a couple of fish. That's what matters. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and catch you later.